Hey everybody, welcome back to another reaction video. Hope you're doing well. My name is Todd. This is Hilarious Moments from the Fourth Doctor from Doctor Who. This is requested by a ToddReacts.com member. You two can join today. Link down below in the description will get you there. Throw a like in the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Hit that notification bell. That way you know when videos post immediately. You can come check it out and let's go. Yes, everything seems pretty quiet. Key, 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 key. Yes, of course. Obvious place. You're not fit yet. Not fit. I'm the doctor. No, doctor. I'm the doctor, and I say that you're not fit. You may be a doctor, <laughs> but I'm the doctor. The definite article, you might say. Look here, doctor. You're not fit. Not you... fit. Not fit. Of course I'm fit. All systems go. Look. Heart speed? Yes, I should. I should. Mother. Earth, you... Mother. <laughs> I feel sick. Send for the doctor. Quick, quick, quick. Mother, dear, shall I die? <laughs> yes, my darling, by and by. One, two, three, four. I'm dead. As for the physiognomy, well, nothing's perfect. Have to take the rough with the smooth. Mind you. I think the nose is a definite improvement. Well, no, Doctor, you can't go. I can't. Can't. There's no such word as can't. <laughs> oh. Why not? Well, you can't go rushing off and leave them in the lurch. Can't I? Goodbye. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> what? Haven't we met somewhere before? No, don't tell me. Alexander the Great, no. Hannibal, no. Ah. Brigadier. Brigadier Alistair Gordon Lethbridge Stewart. How are you? Very well, thank you. And Sarah Jane, well, now, isn't this now? <laughs> what was that you said about a secret weapon? Where is he? In there. Oh, we promised you. Ah, Doctor, we must get moving. Is something wrong? You've changed. Oh, no, not again. No, no, I, I didn't mean your face. I meant your clothes. Don't you like them? <laughs> the unit is supposed to be a security organization. Do you think I might attract attention? It's just possible. One moment. <laughs> oh, my gosh. No? Try again. <laughs> well, how about this? Much better, Doctor. Now, if you've quite finished with your wardrobe... I'll try again if you like. No, let's settle with that. <laughs> exactly, Brigadier. Exactly. Now, assuming I'm right, and I invariably am. As for Jellico <laughs> and Miss Winters, well, they're incompetent nincompoops. Yes, you know, I've explained it to them over and over and over again till I'm blue in the face. Simple, <laughs> never can see what's under their noses above their heads. No, they can't. Can't. this room. be quiet, young man, you know, ever since the <clears throat> days of Galileo, science... And Copernicus. And Copernicus, <laughs> scientists have had... Good night. What are you going to do? Oh, no, don't tell me. More thinking. <laughs> I beg your pardon, Brigadier. I was just thinking. Yes? Yes, of course I'll talk to him. I'll talk to anybody. I'll talk to anybody. <laughs> well, 
naturally enough, the only country that could be trusted with such a role was Great Britain. Well, naturally. I mean, the rest were all foreigners. Well, exactly. Now, please, stay calm. Everyone keep his seat. Now, then. What can I do to entertain you till my friend, the Brigadier, arrives? Eh? A little song, a eh? little dance, perhaps? Not just a little dance? Anyone for cards? Don't just stand there, you idiots! Get him! Now for my next trick. I shall require the assistance of a member of the audience. I'll show that wretched woman. The trouble with computers, of course, is that they're very sophisticated idiots. There's something so wholesome about this era of television. It's just more practical humor than just relying on special effects, whatever. They do exactly what you tell them at amazing speed, even if you order them to kill you. So if you do happen to change your mind, it's very difficult to stop them obeying the original order. But not impossible. <laughs> Who? Well, I won't do it. I won't, I won't, I won't. Why should I? Doctor, you're being childish. Well, of course I am. There's no point in being grown up if you can't be childish sometimes. True. That is true. Homo sapiens. What an inventive, invincible species. It's only a few million years since they crawled up out of the mud and learned to walk. <laughs> Puny, defenseless bipeds. They've survived flood, famine, and plague. They've survived cosmic wars and holocausts. Now, here they are, out among the stars, waiting to begin a new life, ready to upset eternity. They're indomitable. Indomitable. Are you coming or going? Or going or coming? I can see you're busy, but uh, what about Sarah? Sarah? That sounds like Sarah. <laughs> Something. I'm noticing a lot of little moments having the most. Come on, Bob. What is it, Harry? I'm standing on a landmine. I felt a shift. Oh. I move my foot, it might detonate it. Don't move your foot. I won't. Now what? Keep running. What? Keep running. <laughs> Good. Well, now Solid he's got any chance of a cup of tea. What? Or coffee. My friend and I have had a very trying experience. Haven't we had a trying experience, Harry? Very trying, Doctor. Dalek. Very primitive, but undeniably a Dalek. No mistaken. It's a Mark III travel machine. You say so. Just touch these two strands together, and the Daleks are finished. Have I that right? To destroy the Daleks, you can't doubt it. But I do. You see, some things could be better with the Daleks. Many future worlds will become allies just because of their fear of the Daleks. It isn't like that. But the final responsibility is mine, and mine alone. Listen. If someone who knew the future pointed out a child to you and told you that that child would grow up totally evil, to be a ruthless dictator who would destroy millions of lives, could you then kill that child? We're talking about the Daleks, the most evil creatures ever invented. You must destroy them. You must complete your mission for the Time Lords. Do I have the right? Simply touch one wire against the other, and that's it. The Daleks <laughs> cease to exist. Just Hundreds her, of just... millions of people, thousands <laughs> of generations can live without fear, in peace, and never even know the word Dalek. Then why wait? If it was a disease or some sort of bacteria you were destroying, you wouldn't hesitate. But if I kill, wipe out a whole intelligent life form, then I become like them. I'd be no better than the Daleks. Oh, think of all the suffering there'll be if you don't do it. If you two could put oh, your weight on the door and stop it opening. I love that situation. That is so deep. Too suddenly. I love that. I lose my arm. It's incredible. To it. It's from the brigadier. He's in trouble again. That's such a conundrum.
And it's time to say goodbye to all of you. But I'll be seeing you again very soon. Next Saturday, in fact. Goodbye. Hmm? Oh, welcome back, Doctor. I want to know one thing, Brigadier. <laughs> What's that? That, Doctor, is a kilt. <laughs> Suits you very well. Oh, do you think so? It's nice to see you again, Brigadier. And you, Miss Smith. I didn't expect to see you in a kilt. <laughs> my dear Miss Smith, as you remember, my name is Lethbridge Stewart. The clan Stewart. How could you possibly know that? Well, you see, Mr. Scarman, I have the advantage of being slightly ahead of you. Sometimes behind you, but normally ahead of you. I see. I'm sure you don't, but it's very nice of you to try. Now, why don't you show me how this gadget works? <laughs> Do you mean you want me to? Please. <laughs> Probably the most I've seen of the fourth doctor. Marcus! It's been amazing. He is possessed. Seek and kill. This is unbelievable. Totally unbelievable. You're going to say it transcends all the normal laws of physics? I am, yes. I mean, it does. It's, it, it's preposterous, isn't it? I often think dimensional transcendentalism is preposterous, but it works. Would you like to look around? May I? Please. <laughs> are you going to help, or are you just going to stand there and admire the scenery? Your shoes need repairing. Uh. Oh, what's the matter? Not enough? Sweaty gelignite is highly unstable. One good sneeze could set it off. Sorry. Hm. No sign of any detonators or fuses? No. No. Nothing else. Perhaps he sneezed. Mm -hmm. It's too obvious. What is? That is. Doctor. <laughs> You're soaking my shirt. You're soaking In my case I'm shirt. Wrong. 
I'm right. <laughs> My paralysis has left me. I can move again. I can move. <laughs> Link down below in the description for the original video. Go throw it some love. And now a word from our sponsor, me. <laughs> Just wanted to jump in here real quick and say the summer collection of merch is leaving September 30th at 1159 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It will be replaced by the winter collection right at midnight Eastern Standard Time. But if you want to grab something from the summer collection, make sure you do it before September 29th. Thanks so much and enjoy the rest of the video. I have to say that's probably the most I've seen of the fourth doctor. It seemed like it was mostly situational you know, a little like tiny bit of silly, but it so lands because the rest of the scene is just kind of quiet. It definitely seems like it's the art of the subtle joke where it's not over the top, but it is apparent. I love the iconic scarf. I believe in a comment quite a few videos ago, the, either the actor brought it to rehearsal or the actor insisted on it. I can't exactly remember, but ridiculously long, number one. So that's funny in itself. And number two, it just, it's iconic. It's very recognizable. I love how all the doctors kind of put their own stamp on the uniform, because obviously it's a suit, but they each kind of get to tweak it in their own special way. It's such an unbelievable moment between the doctor and the companion talking about killing the Daleks and just pushing those wires together. I guess I give you the question, would you do it? Would you put the wires together and kill all the Daleks and everything that else happens after that? I don't even know what I would do, honestly. Now that I'm thinking about it, would I do it? I think yes. I think I would do it. However many millions affected is more important than just one. But a part of me is just like, yeah, but that's also like not as great of an option. <laughs> but if you're in that situation, what do you do? Do you do it? Do you pull the plug? Do you push the wires together? I think I would. I think I would push the wires together. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. ToddReacts.com. You can request your own videos, pick up some merch, and also check out these full-length video reactions available right now. I'll see you on the next one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.